if there's no way to justify the killing of a king, you have a very serious responsibility to think about the um, the good of the of the realm, and not just whether uh, Claudius uh, may be charged with the uh, slaying of the elder Hamlet, but but can it be publicly known? So then you come back to that that problem of acting upon. Uh, supernatural visitation rather than upon reason. Yeah, I couldn't help but notice, I mean, your point here about uh, Hamlet's uh, uh, intended actions leading to civil war, I couldn't be help but be reminded, you know, for Hobbes, uh, civil war is is the worst thing possible. Now, uh, others may, di may disagree with that. We can certainly think of uh, instances in which civil war is justified, but nevertheless, it brings to mind the classic Enlightenment critique of regimes that are founded on the basis of devotion to, again, Hobbes's language, spirits invisible, and here in the case of, of Hamlet, on the basis of the testimony of a ghost that only a few can see and only one is heard, that part of the Enlightenment critique of religion is its role in producing civil war. And, and here we see a, a reflection of that. Now, what Shakespeare's final take on it is another question, but I couldn't help but notice the similarity there between uh, the situation of Hamlet and what he is intending to do and the Enlightenment critique of religion.